show this pop all again. Lord have mercy. About 3.30 this morning, and I mean 3.30 in the a.m., I woke up and needed to go to the bathroom. And when I started to rear forward, this dead gum chair folded up on me. I mean, it broke down and it said, I ain't doing no more. And sort of blew my mind because I had, I got this thing in May of 2019. And it was rated for good for 600 pounds. Now I know I'm a fat ass, <laughs> but I ain't no 600 pounds. But all can aside, at 300 pounds or a little over, you're asking an awful lot for any piece of furniture. And this piece of furniture was given to me free to do a review on it, and I was very pleased with it. And to tell you the truth, I have been sleeping in this chair for over a solid year. I mean, every night for over a solid year. And taking the uh, medication my doctor gives me to get up and go to the bathroom every time I take a breath, I was getting up and down out of this chair a lot. A whole lot. So, I'm not really going to blame the chair manufacturer on this thing breaking down. But what we're going to do with this video today is show you how to hopefully repair it. I figure if Chinese children can build it, old Paul Paul David can probably fix it. So, let me show you what happened. You got pins right here. They go into this vertical piece that you lean against. And what happened is it broke. It broke in half. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to repair this. Will it work? I don't know, but we're going to try it. I mean, this daggum chair is $160. So I went and spent $6 on a piece of conduit and I spent a few dollars on some nuts and bolts. And we're going to see if we can't make something happen. Make something good out of something bad. Okay, what we had here was... Right here was a, was a hole drilled through. And it coincided with a pin. There's a pin on the back of this handle right here, okay? And leaning back against the, leaning back against this rail caused a lot of stress to be on that. Well, the outside measurements of this tube is three quarters of an inch. So I went and bought some three quarter inch EMT. That's a electrical conduit. And we're going to see if we can't do a little bit of engineering on this uh, repair and see if we can't make something work because if I don't I'm, I ain't got to want to sleep tonight <sighs> if this little sparks on you too much usually yeah, come I'll, and stop. I'll let you know promise you'll be the first And then took a screwdriver and pried it apart a little bit. We've already got one that we slipped on and up and are ready to drill a hole in to bolt in place. The original pivot hole is right in here. 
And we're going to take a drill and we're going to drill that out to where right up here, when we raise this up, it will it will align with where it needs to go. And every and all will be right in the world. Well, we got this bolted in place, and we got the other side over there bolted in place. And old Paw Paw's got a place to sleep again one more night. I'll be, I sure am glad I'm going to get to sleep in it tonight. Y'all have a wonderful day. And a better tomorrow. Bye, everybody.